Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the fluid files that go with the Real Filing Cabinets mod. So if you're one of the folks who uses the filing cabinets as part of your simple storage system or whichever you use, uh, this is a great way to be able to store fluids and how to get them inside the folder and how to get them back out again. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So a couple things we're going to need today. Of course, first things first, we're going to need a filing cabinet. Filing cabinet is a chest surrounded by eight iron bars. Then we're going to need a fluid folder. That is going to be five pieces of paper like a regular folder but it's going to have an empty bucket a water bucket and a lava bucket next we're going to need a fluid upgrade this is also from the pack you're going to use four lapis blocks a filing cabinet two empty buckets bucket of lava bucket of water you're also going to need a filing cabinet filter which is going to be four rows red and an arrow. A couple other things we're going to be using in this tutorial will be some of the fluid extraction cables from the cyclic mod, um, potentially some of the different tanks, like the singularity tank. Um, if you have questions about those, let me know. We can cover those. I've also made an infinite water pool by putting a two by two space, putting water in opposite corners. This becomes an infinite water pool if you just keep pulling from one of the corners. So let's start off with the basics. A fluid folder. So a fluid folder will hold a whole bunch of different fluids. Primarily, water and lava are probably the more common used ones, but there are other fluids that can be placed in it. Just like with a, a regular file folder, you have to set the folder to be what it is. Now normally, that means if you go into a crafting table, you could set fluid folder inside with a bucket of water or something and it would become a bucket of water it doesn't work quite the same way with a fluid folder you're going to actually go up and you're going to right click on a fluid anywhere in the world like that now i'm in creative so it popped out another fluid folder instead of just changing that one but it's the same thing it's going to turn your fluid folder into 1000 mb water that's a bucket of water okay so now i have a fluid folder if i want i can sit here and click again then again then again it's going to add more. So he says 4,000, right? So you can sit there and just keep doing that all you like, get your water in it. Great, but that's boring. <laughs> Why would you want to sit there and click on water a whole bunch of times? Well, that's where we're going to get into some of the other components. So we're going to grab ourselves one of the filing cabinets from Real Filing Cabinets and this fluid upgrade. Now, fortunately, everything we're doing today does not require any type of RF power source. We're just going to drop ourselves a filing cabinet. Now, can you put this folder in a regular filing cabinet? You sure can. Is it going to do anything? No, <laughs> it's not. Placing this folder in here is not going to do much for you other than a place to sit that folder and you can pull it out again later. Okay, that's about it. But if you take a fluid upgrade, you right click with that thing. It's going to change this into a fluid filing cabinet. And what this means is it's going to act much like a tank itself. That's what the filing cabinet it is. And the file is a way of getting that in and out. See what we're talking about here, okay? Now, it says 7,000 MB of water. That's how much water is this thing is holding, but it's holding it water 1,000 of 2 point blah, 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 billion. The 1,000 slash number never changes. You'd think, hey, shouldn't that number be going up to meet the 2.1 blah, blah, blah? It does not. It's the number right under filing cabinets where it says 7,000. That's the number that we're looking for. That's the number that should be changing as our water is increasing. So let's increase the water. I've gone ahead and I've made a infinite water source. Okay, you can use these. You can use a water source like this, pull directly from it. Anything that produces water will work. I'm just using this for simplicity. I'm going to put an extraction cable into it. And now if we look at this, it's going to look like nothing is happening. And that's okay. It's going to look like that. But in reality, something is happening. If I right click, you'll see it went to 11,000. This fluid is full going into the folder. It's going into this. But the actual 
message there at the top doesn't update until you right click on it. So if you let this sit for an hour, come back and it had 500,000 MB of water in here, it's still going to show that 11,000 until you right click it. And then it's going to update. So it does not auto update like it would normally do with a filing cabinet with regular items where you'd be able to see what's in there. Okay. So just because the number is not moving doesn't necessarily mean it's not working. Just try right clicking on it and see if the number goes up. If it does, then it is getting fluid in. It's just refreshing that little tool tip at the top each time you click on it. Okay. So that's an important thing to remember. It is getting the fluid in there. Well, now that we've got the fluid in there. How the heck do we get it back out again? Well, that's what we're going to look at next. Let's go ahead and pull these out of the way. I'm going to grab a couple different things here. I've got a singularity tank. Any tank that holds water will work for what I'm doing. I'm also grabbing some polished andesite. That's just because I like it. You can use any type of block for that. You are going to need one regular item frame and the filing cabinet filter that we had a moment ago. What you're going to do is you need a block above it. You really don't need this one. But I put it there because it looks better. <laughs> and I'm using this rock. You can use wood. You can use stone. You can use cobblestone. Anything will work. I'm just using andesite because I like the way this block looks. Next thing you do is you can put a file. Or a, uh, <laughs> not a file. Uh, item frame right on top of it. Then you're going to put your filing cabinet filter in the frame. As you can see, it looks like a bucket of water. This filter will change where the fluid is going in and out of as you right click and turn this. So if we were to say take fluid extraction cable right there and snap down a singularity tank, you would think that because the arrow is pointing to the right, that the fluid would be going that direction. Common sense would say that, but that is not quite how that works. You can change and keep spinning it. It will affect which direction it's coming out of and which direction it's pulling in from, yes. But if you want it to go out the right-hand side, you need to have it facing up. And as you can see, it pulled the water outside of here and it filled up this tank. Now I right-click on it, still got 6,600 in there, even though now it's got 84. So as I right-click on it, it is going to continue to increase. Now it's 92 because this is full and there's nowhere for the water to go. But if you wanted to store just a very large, horrendous amount of fluids or solid items inside of a folder, uh, or fluid items, I'm sorry, specifically, this is how that would work. Now, this filter will work with physical items as well. You can set it up the same way. Uh, personally, I think that there's better ways to do that with physical items. Connecting it to a simple storage and such would probably be the best example. But for fluids, this is the best way to set it up. You got fluids coming in, you got fluids coming out again as you need them. But you could put a black hole tank here instead if you'd like. Um, and that's the thing about fluid files themselves or liquid folders. Are they feasibly useful in the game? Well, very potentially they are. The question is, can we combine this with the automation processes of simple storage, which we're going to look at in another tutorial. But if you're just looking for a way to store water or other fluids, normally either a large tank or most importantly, a black hole tank will hold more than just about anything else and is an easy way to do it as well. So you can do it any way you'd like. Um, this is just one way of doing it. But we're going to look at some, some more advanced processes of how to use this, see if there's a way to combine it with automation uh, in, a, in just a future tutorial. Okay? All right, then. Well, a few steps to that one, but not too hard. Uh, this tutorial was a special request by someone in, left in one of the comments in a previous uh, previous tutorial. So I thank you very much for that. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments section and I will do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as if you have a recommendation or suggestion for a tutorial you'd like, like to see, go ahead and put that down in there as well. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also come and see me when I'm streaming if you have questions and you need answers in real time. I stream six days a week. I stream two over here on YouTube, and I stream uh, multiple days, usually four or five days, over on my Twitch channel, Only Draven Gaming. Uh, all one word, no underscore, no space. If you need questions in real time and I'm streaming, feel free to swing by. Um, pretty much anything that I'm streaming, even if I'm not streaming Minecraft, I'm happy to answer questions if I can. Uh, so definitely give us a follow over there, and you can come and hang out with us in real time as well. But that is going to do us for today. 
Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope you have yourself a great day.